Hey everyone, this is Hashim with another how-to guide video for 3ds Max and uh, this one we're actually going to be using Thai Flow. How fun, right? Um, so in a previous video what I did was we used the cloth simulator to kind of make a the cloth modifier, sorry, to make like a throw-on blanket or cover. In this one, we're going to be doing something similar but different, I guess. So what we're going to we've got these objects that we've drawn. Um, they were, I just used the extended parameter um, primitives, and I used the hedra, I guess, and then tetra that makes that kind of shape, and then you can use the cube to make the other type of shape. So I just made a couple shapes in the middle, and what I want to do is I want to like wrap all of it with like a plastic kind of material that will stick to these shapes. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is create a go to your standard primitives create a geo surface and you probably want to give it a lot of segments so let's put it up to like about maybe 60 even and then price you, what you want to do is you want to place it right in the center of all of these Um, probably want to do the wireframe so you can actually see. I think we did it too big, but we can we can play around with that. So you press R, then you can just there we go. I think it's still probably a bit too big. So actually, what we can do is if we reduce the segments, then we'll be able to better see what's happening inside. Uh, so you can see it's coming out from there a bit, so we'll put it down. Yep, that looks pretty good. Alright, now bump up those segments. Alright. So that's good. Now we can... We can very good all right so from here we have our tie flow as well so we're going to tie flow open editor so one of the first things we need to do is place um, one of the birth modifiers so what we do we place a birth object um, we'll pick the geometry then with display we'll set it to geometry as it is and what we can do also, we can come into here and we can hide the selection. So, actually, sorry. So if we pick there, we go hide selection. So now all we're seeing is the actual tie flow um, selection. From here, what we do is we're going to add a cloth modifier. So I think if we move forward, yep can see a cloth bind I'm um, not modifier sorry that was in the last one so here we can go back to the geometry and untick mark particles with no geo so we can do that and we'll go back to the cloth bind we'll set the stretch to 7 so this is just the binding stiffness kind of some characteristics with the bend um, we'll set it to 0.05 then if you go down, there is a length bias, and this controls if it grows or if it shrinks. So what we'll do is we'll do a 0 0.85, yep. So now if we play this, let's see. So you'll see that it's shrinking. So, but it's not interacting in any way with our objects. So, what we'll do, actually, we should remove the wireframe. So I think, so you'll see it's, sh you see it's shrinking, but it's not interacting in any way with the objects. So what we'll do then is we'll have to put that in, don't we? Um, also, the other thing we can do is turn off edge face here to give us a smooth, smoother look. And now here we can see better like that kind of um, particle and uh, how it gets all jagged and if you want to increase that you know if we set this to let's say 0 
2.9 you know you're gonna see more of that obviously it takes a bit to load so you can see it goes um, towards the end you know it becomes even more if you remember how it looked before if you put it at 0.5 that's gonna happen less um, I think for now maybe we can leave it at 0.9 that's fine um, okay so the next bit what do we do we got to add some uh, surface force there we go so you add surface force down there go pick um, you can press H and this will bring up the list so here we can see all our objects so we'll pick them all and let's say for the force we'll say yeah I think what it is right now is fine um, let's just play this and look how it looks oh okay well that's not looking great maybe there's more we gotta do All right. set that back um, yep that's right we gotta add a partic um, yep a particles physics I believe yep um, add that okay so now it's all it looks all messed up and that's because of the radius because it's way too high so it's kind of colliding with itself so let's set absolute and then set it to point. Um, okay still too high there we go so it's a bit smoother friction will set to 50 and this is like um, the actual um, mass um, colliding with the objects and there's still one more thing that we got to do and the last thing we got to do is to do the final collision there we go collision add that go pick press H like we said before all of those pick all of those all right beautiful so now we can have a look and it should look something right okay all right so what's our biggest issue at the moment it looks like from this small amount that has finished is that it's going like our kind of wrap is going inside the objects um, so we got to probably address that issue so we'll have, let's see what we can do there alright so what we could do is to go to click on the tie flow main thing so one of the issues is that there aren't enough steps and I think another thing that we saw was that it was happening too fast. So if we go to the particle um, bind saver, instead of 5, let's make that 25, the amount of steps. So I think that should improve it greatly. And then in main settings, I think with the frame, because it was happening too fast, let's set it to half. And let's see how well that does. So let's have a look. There might be even more that we can do to improve it. Hmm sorry for the long loads I guess halving the frames and increasing the steps is going to be a bit heavy on the computer hopefully it won't crash okay happens very quickly hey that flat bit there all right that's okay let's see what we can do okay so what we could do is um, click, click on your um, tie flow and then press alt x so that'll make your object see through so that'll let us kind of see exactly what's happening as it's happening so I think what we can see also is that you know it's kind of going inside the objects and I think how we, the way we can solve that is in collisions if we give it a radius so let's say let's give it like 0 0.05 radius all right okay too much 0 0.01 okay now this might actually make it a lot better all right let's have a look this could be the final cherry on top uh, it's still kind of going through there. I think if we had round shapes instead of like um, sharp edges, it would have worked a lot better. So let's stop that. Oh man, the computer is going to blow up. 
You get the idea, if you put the radius up, it's probably going to increase it, um, make it a lot better. Um, okay, let's just do that. Okay, actually... Okay, so... Um, so we have half the frame, but what I've also realized is what we could do is do it the time scale at half, so this should slow it down. And also maybe I'm gonna increase this a little bit more, so. All right, now I think it's gonna be a lot gra a lot slower and it's gonna work a lot better. So before at around frame five or six, it was already wrapped around our objects. Now I think it's gonna just take that bit longer for it to happen. And it should give us like a more natural look. And basically that's kind of, there we go. I think that's kind of, ah, oh, look at that. Man, tie flow is something else, eh? Hey? And obviously then you can add a mesh uh, modifier to it in tie flow. If you want to do, you know, if you want to do renders. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. All right, well, that's it for this um, for this guide, and hopefully it was helpful and something that you found useful. So if, uh, if I stop this now. Oh. So now pressing Alt-X again. Beautiful. Alright, thank you very much and see you on the next one. Take care.